from Dunnisthorpe, Swaddling Coat, Leicestershire, S3. Weapon on wheels, the vertically mounted 1000 RPM disc has two three inch teeth to snatch opponents and toss them out of the arena. It runs both way up the front skid, used to be part of a butcher's chopping. Roboteers, stand by. Yes, three team. They're in the box David Barker, Ian Pritchard, and Pete Allsop. And the Plunderbird boys are back. Great fun. Mike Onsel on the left, Brian Kilburn on the right. He loves his curries, and we're going to have some hot stuff here in the first of our Eliminator battles. And as usual, two house robots in the arena. Dead metal with a pincer from the saw. And alongside, Sir Killalot, our own knight of the red. Three, two, one, activate. The left Thunderbird against S3. Looks like the head of a hammerhead shark, S3, and it has the teeth to match as well. But driven onto the arena sidewall by Blunderbird. Don't forget, if you're driven into the CPZ, the corner patrol zone areas, it means the house robots can come out and literally have a go at you. Blunderbird has been ripped there, look, by S3. The side of Blunderbird torn away with that attack. We haven't seen this sort of weaponry before. It is a vertically mounted disc driven on by a 3,000 RPM electric motor. It looks very destructive, S3. And Blunderbird is in real trouble here. The Blunderbird dicer, lifter, claw, jaw. Looks so impotent, rendered so. Because the pneumatic system has been ripped to shreds there by S3 and causing more damage to the armory of Blunderbird. The new boys are very, very dangerous. I know that they've been here before in Robot Wars with Sting, but this is a, a new machine in S3, and it looks absolutely awesome. On the attack again, oh! Slicing through Blunderbird by absolutely mashing it. Look at the boys, Mike Onslow and Brian Kilburn. Reduced to mere spectators. Their machine, a bauble, a plaything for S3 and the house robots like Killalot. What is left of it? The tyres teetering and tottering and wobbling. Well, that was hugely impressive by S3. The tyres are off. And they are certainly off the rails off the track to success, on the road to nowhere, Blunderbird tossed in the air. That's the way we love to finish an Eliminator in style. But the glory here belongs to S3. And again, cease. A final attack. Look at the damage! Weapon gone, armor gone. Well, well, well. We have a new kid on the block. The winner! S3! Well, you heard it there. Well, what can I say? It's martial law. Hey, I'll tell you what, your first time in Robot Wars, you could go all the way to me. Yeah, I think, seriously, we stand a good chance. It's a good robot, it's driving well, yeah. And it, that, that spinning disc is hard, it's destructive, yeah. it's what we want, it's Robot Wars. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up, it's S3! Yeah. Well done, guys. From Dunnisthorpe. S3. Hi, I'm Dave Barker, team captain of the One Law Associates. Ian Pritchard, Pete Allsop, S3. She runs with a 1,000 RPM disc, 17 half inch diameter, and it's about 17 kilos. Roboteers, stand by. RefBot blinks. No wonder, because S3 was mightily impressive early on. Could be a star of the future for David Barker, Ian Pritchard and Pete Allsop. In the way, mousetrap, veterans, experienced. Stan and Jason Launchbury. We've plenty of experience with Circular Lot. Hungry for more robot machinery to gobble up. And shunt. Huge pushing power. 
Three, two, one. Did it. For a place in the heat final against Stinger. S3, the hammerhead shark, as we called him earlier, with that vertically mounted spinning disc. Awesome as it tries to grind into Mousetrap. And I think Jason Launchbury's tactics here are to stay out of trouble. Well, or try and snare S3, and they've done just that with the guillotine blade. And if that blade can cut off the radio aerial, then S3 would be immobilised. Who will give way first here? Can the blade of S3 sever the spring of the mouse trap? They're into the CPZ, which means Killalot can also come into the equation. The spring is holding fast. Will the bar go? Well, which robot is immobilised? Whose weapon there? The mouse trap has certainly been broken, but I wonder if the S3 blade has also been stopped from rotating. It has. Look at that. They are locked together in some ghastly dance of death on Robot Wars. Into the arena sidewalk. The blade has been stopped by the mousetrap whose own weapon is no longer working. To and fro, shove and heave. Who's got the greater power? S300 kilos, mousetrap 95. Eventually they get away, or do they? You see there the coil of the spring was trapped in S3. They're now free of each other. This is a terrific tussle here. We thought it would be. The guillotine slams down. The blade is working again on S3. Obviously the spring was retarding it somehow. Under 10 seconds to go. The guillotine blade of mousetrap bent and buckled. It'll go to the judges. Which robot has sustained the most damage? Who's been the more aggressive? Control and stylish. What a battle that was. What a fight. Amazing aggression and amazing tactical cuteness. We're going to go to the judges. They've got to make a decision. And they've gone for S3. Yeah. Whoa. That was too close. That, that was, was too really close too for comfort. Absolutely. Do you think you're going to be able to inflict the same amount of damage on Stinger? Because you're meeting them in the heat final. Totally different robot. Completely different robot. Very difficult to get a grip. Yeah. What's your tactic going to be there? <laughs> Right. We're not sure yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not sure, you just don't want to say. It's a mystery, isn't it? Yeah, it's a secret. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for S3. Who would have thought it? A brand new robot to the competition and it's come this far, but can it go all the way? This is part of the joy of Robot Wars for me, seeing new robots up and coming. Come up through the ranks, you've already smashed a seeded robot, you've got another seeded robot now. Mm -hmm. How do you think you can do? It's a really tricky robot to fight, obviously. It's um, not the usual kind of robot that we like to take apart. It's not got big body panels on it, for instance, but uh, we've got some ideas, we'll have a good go. Mm -hmm. Not a lot to grab hold of there, then. <laughs> From Dunnisthorpe, S3. Leicestershire against Lincolnshire. What a final this is going to be. Mightily impressive S3. There is the Stinger team, Kevin Scott, Carl Skinner, Tim Mann the spare bludgeoning device. A mascot, a trophy. Will David Barkley and Pritchard and Pete Allsop and the S3 team take it away from them, though? Roboteers, stand by. We've put into the arena shunt to give the other two a bit of a nudge. And Sir Killalot, he's got past history with Stinger. They don't like each other. Three. Two, one, activate. The green light for go. Stinger attacking, spinning. Will try and stay out of reach of that hugely powerful 1,000 RPM, 20 kilo, 18 inch diameter snatch weapon, they call it. Because there are two three inch teeth on that circular blade to draw opponents on, to snatch them away from a possible victory. Pursuing here, Stinger towards the arena side wall. Stinger, as we know it can, spins away. But look at the weight there of S3 behind the attack. 100 kilos in comes Shunt as well because they're in a CPZ. That's where the house robots can play. 
and Shunt tried to axe down on Stinger, and Stinger almost pushed or perhaps driving into the pit release button. So down goes the pit of doom. S3 looks purposeful, menacing, relentless in its pursuit of its quarry. Stinger still trying to get the bludgeoning mace down. That's the S3 team. New boys with this machine, though, in Series 2 and Series 3, they were represented by Sting. This is Stinger against the arena sidewall. And in peril there. And now, S3 attacking the vulnerable tyres of Stinger. And Stinger seems to be wedged in there. And I wonder if damage has been caused to all the electrics within the hubs. Beneath those hubcaps, Carl Skinner, Tim Mann and Kevin Scott know that the electrics can be vulnerable. They've been immobilised, Stinger. And they are being counted out. And right from the word go in this heat, we thought S3 had pedigree. And S3 had recorded a famous victory, Stinger. Counted out for Carl and Tim and Kevin Scott. Been in round one in series three, grand finalists in series four. And here, no disgrace in defeat against a very good machine. I don't think Stinger deserves that. Not at the end. Been a very good and worthy competitor on Robot Wars. But we love our little final flourish and fly them through the air. Exactly. And don't forget Six. Stinger. No prizes for finishing second. Stinger or Stung? Would you believe it? S3 through to the series semi-finals! Oh, yeah, we needed that to fall apart. We really did. Thank you, guys. When Thank you're you. fighting something like that, what is your tactic? Because that robot, for me, is so just so difficult to get hold of. It's so tough. The only thing we could try and do is go for the wheels. We know everything's in the wheels. They're so well protected. Or maybe the link to the, to the main arm, but uh, just couldn't really touch it. We took a bit of a few chunks off, but... Thank God uh, something went wrong inside. Hey, 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 the series semi-finals. <laughs> you what excited? What did I say? All the way. <laughs> All the way. Do you reckon you can do it for us? Still got a chance, yeah. Oh, you've got more than a chance, haven't you? Yes! You know that's true! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, S3! Roboteers, stand by. So look at the S3 team, David Barker, Ian Pritchard and Pete Orsop, and bigger brother at the controls, Ian Watts, a broadcast engineer. Dead metals in the arena for the house robots with the saw and the pincer, the weapon synergy. Sir Killalot fighting alongside with the claws and the lance. Three, two, one, activate. Two machines which have impressed me immensely so far. S3. And the team had Sting in a couple of previous series, but uh, nothing like this machine. And Bigger Brother had nothing like this force in previous wars and very nearly flipped S3 out. The pit release button has been depressed. S3 is hanging on by a thread. The pit release button depressed and also hanging off by a thread. What are you doing to our arena out there, you two? Concentrate on each other. Oh, they have that. Nearly both went down the pit, but S3 has sunk. In the pool of smoke, S3 is gone. When the smoke clears, you can see it. Well, that was hectic mayhem. S3 in the pit. That didn't take very long at all. Bigger brother, go through. Oh, that didn't go according to plan, did it? No, not really, no. Didn't take very long either. No. <laughs> they couldn't get you out of the arena, though, could they? Nearly, nearly. Not far I know, I know. I thought we was at one stage that high up. I thought you were going to take the arena wall down as well. <laughs> you banged right into it. But what a bit of driving as well. He couldn't get you out, so he opens the pit. Bish! You're down it. Yeah. Maybe the loser's melee at the end, you might get a place in the final that way. Hopefully. You'll be ready for that, will you? Will we? Definitely. Oh. All right, that's what I like to hear. Fight and talk. Let's hear it, S3! How do you feel about those other robots? Um, Not too bad. Not too bad. It could have been worse. Well, OK, it could have been worse. But what's it going to be like with three of you in there? I think we're really going to have to watch our back with these pair. We think we are. Two flippers. <laughs> Two flippers. <laughs> and three. 
I make three, three flippers. Um, <laughs> I can't wait for this. I think it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> You're all going to be in bits. <laughs> Robotiers, stand by. What will happen here to spawn again? Darren Ball and Luke Jackman roughed up by Razor in their last battle. Wild thing beaten by the judges and Chaos 2 and S3 in the pit by Bigger Brother. Nick Adams at the controls of Wild Thing. Pete Allsop with the S3 controls. Sergeant Bash, uncontrolled. Flamethrower and pincers. Totally out of control. Shunt will try and get you totally out of here. Three, two, one. Active. It'll be mayhem. S3 moves from the right hand side. Spawn again coming in from the left. S3 in the middle at the moment. Spinning away, trying to get that hugely powerful vertically mounted disc into play. On the front of Spawn again. Slicing, bashing. Wild thing took damage. So did Spawn against front flipper. Previously already damaged by Razor. By well, the gang up on Wild thing, it would seem here. Is it a process of elimination? Gang up on one, then take on Tother. Wild thing squeezes between the two. There we can see Nick Adams at the controls. Chasing down on Spawn again. The S3, 1000 RPM, 20 kilo, 18 inch diameter, snatch weapon, they call it. The spinning blade. Rotating, looking fearsome. Spawn again, momentarily silenced and stilled. Up goes its flipper, down goes the, the pit, release there. S3 on the charge on Wild Thing. Who's nearest the pit? Wild Thing dances away. What is that next to the pit? Something's come off. S3 on the attack. It's Spawn again being counted out by the ref bot. These two will be left to fight it out then for a place. In the next battle, Spawn again, they've been counted out by the ref bot. We're down to two, Wild Thing and S3, only one to survive. They're in the same control pod. Wild Thing, the aggressor, the more experienced here of the two, I would say. Previous semi-finalists on two occasions. S3 has the weaponry, Spawn again has the long way home via the pit, says Sergeant Bash, down you go. That's the last we'll see this series of Spawn again. And I think the judges will have to decide the winners of S3 and Wild Thing. Who stays in? Who goes out? Cease. I don't have to make the decision. The real brains do. What an amazing battle. Excellent drive and spawn again. Refuses to be born again. Consigned to the pit of oblivion. It stands the judges on Wild Thing and S3. S3 got an attack there, and once again, Wild Thing took damage from Spawn again and was on the receiving end, but came back strongly to push S3 into the CPZ twice, and then against the arena sidewalk. Certainly for me, Wild Thing the aggressor at the end. Um, the judges have made a decision. One robot has a tick, the other one has a nasty cross. Now, they've been looking at style, control, damage and aggression. And on control and style, Wild Thing won. But they said that the damage inflicted by S3 to Wild Thing was so great, they've gone for S3! How can you a fat lady singing? Yeah, you are cutting it fine, aren't you? Oh, yeah, no, well, yeah. <laughs> cutting it fine. Now, Absolutely. who would you not want to fight in the melee? Chaos 2, it will, it will. Bigger Brother or Razor? I'm just going to let you think about that, OK? Because <laughs> you haven't got a choice about it. It's going to come out of the hat and you've got to fight one of them. Ladies and gentlemen, what a robot! S3! It's going to be a tactician's battle, I think, between these two. First time robot, very, very, very experienced robot. How do you feel about being up against Razor? Uh, well, when we managed eventually to qualify, we uh, had a quick chat in the pits, as you do. Uh, we all said, yeah, what we really want to go up against is that uh, beaky, pointy, spiky thing over there. I, I don't, don't think, think so. <laughs> <laughs> but it's happened. You're up against it. Who's doing the driving? Me. <laughs> My fault. Of course, as ever. Driving really counts now, doesn't it? Yes, We've seen definitely. that time and time again. So you must be feeling awful. Yes, I do. 
<laughs> very much so. <laughs> We've seen the last of her. <laughs> Fresh as on. It is very much. Good luck. I can see you shaking from yeah. here. Oh, bless your heart. Robert is stand by. Razor, world champion. Simon Scott, Ian Lewis, and Vinny Blood on the left there. And S3, so competitive. Pete Allsop at the controls on the right hand side with David Barker and Ian Pritchard. Dead Metal will be hungry for action. May not get a chance, though. And will Shunt make an impression? Or will it be all about Razor and S3? Three, two, one. Let me remind you, this is for a place in the grand final. Razor, they have never won the UK domestic title. They are so desperate to win it. S3, who came through the loser's melee, let me remind you, on a judge's decision on damage and aggression. Slammed into by Razor into the CPZ and taking punishment from Shunt, and Razor's beak has penetrated the body of S3. The cylindrical body is held high. I've described this as a hammerhead shark. It is a mere minnow gobbled up by the big fish that is Razor. They were in the right place at the right time. Right and this is a whale of a time for the Razor Boys. And S3 are heading for the depths of despair. And Davy Jones's robot wars locker. Sliced by dead metal. And a grisly end to worthy competitors. They fought before a sting, but this S3 machine looked far more competitive and deadly. It's a credit to Pete Orsop and Ian Pritchard and David Barker. And they're still fighting, and they still want more. What a series semi-final this has been. Razor in, chasing and pursuing and nagging. S3 driven against the side wall, into the CPZ, dead metal awaits. The pincers close. You need to get it out from that mess. Razor still on the chase. In comes Shunt with the diamond edge axe. I wonder if we'll see the flourish of victory from Razor. We've become so accustomed to seeing. Pete also a plasterer by trade. Maybe we'll go out and get plastered tonight to commiserate with his friends. And will the celebratory champagne be on the Razor Boys? In squeezed and penetrated and pained S3. Under the cosh from Dead Metal. Still looking for more. Grizzly and grotesque damage is Ian Lewis, a design engineer at the controls of Razor. So experienced. What can you do, S3? They're all after you. Into the CPZ again. The big vertically mounted disc has stopped spinning. The hopes have stopped surely for S3. Damage limitation. Just alive. The clock counts down. Razor squeezes. The judges will have to decide because they Six. are still manoeuvrable. But we know which way it's going to go, don't we? What a foul! What a foul! However, both robots are still mobile, so uh, for what it's worth, we're going to have to go the judges. If they make the wrong decision now, oh, I'm resigning. So they look as if they're going to make the wrong decision. No, they can't, surely, can they? It was relentless, the razor pressure. S3 was smoking on fire, chase, pursued, damaged, ripped. Torn, shredded, sliced. This has to be Razor through to the UK final for the first time. Well, the judges have made their decision. You know, you know, I know. They've gone for Razor! <laughs> Guys, um, you didn't stand a chance. He just came at you straight away. It was a chance, it was just a very, very small chance. Oh, no, I, what, what I meant was, um, I mean, <laughs> I, I was actually scared for them, cos I, I reckon that circular saw of yours could have done an awful lot of damage to them, you know? But they just came right at you and yeah. grabbed all your straightaway, picked you up, 
then started toasting you, yeah. parading you around the war zone. Yeah, we should have laid down and died, I think, and just, but no, we and kept then, going. And so. then the games of dead metal, he started yeah. trying to slice you. And it was just, um, oh. Excellent. Good roboteering. Amazing really roboteering. Gallant losers. Ladies and gentlemen, please, go ballistic. S3!